What's going on everybody? I usually don't live stream this late at night because I know it is almost 12.59 here and in other places it's even later, 2, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I'm sure in other countries it's not as late. But like I said, I normally don't live stream now. I just wanted to explain myself. I put up a post and people were freaking out and getting upset about it. So I just wanted to kind of state my case and explain what I'm what I mean and portray my message in the proper way because I think a lot of text and tweeting and, and posting in the text realm gets kind of lost in translation. So let's wait about 15, 20 more seconds for people to get into the live stream so I can really portray my message in the right light so people don't get all freaked out. And maybe still people will get freaked out about it. Someone said, do you ever sleep? I do, but I also work very hard and I dream in my sleep and sometimes edit while I'm asleep but thank you guys so much for joining all right I'm gonna get into it so I posted a post I've been like dropping little gems here and there in my videos saying I want to debate Ben Shapiro you know Ben Shapiro can't take me this and that first of all you need to understand when I say these sort of things I have fun you know of course you see me get more fun in the live streams I'm very a little more uptight and a little more professional when I do my main things but I like to have fun. Uh, I, I'm very, very nice, but I'm also funny. Uh, there's a lot of qualities I have that I don't always show. And when it comes to like basketball or with my friends or stuff, we talk trash. You know, like I could beat you one on one. And it's true, I'm very good at basketball. I'll, I'll challenge, you know, most other news analysts in basketball too and talk trash as well. Um, so that's just like a fun thing. It's not like an egotistical thing, it's not a mean or a hateful thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh my God, like Anomaly is so full of himself. That's not it at all. Um, God bless Ben Shapiro. I think he's incredible, intelligent, amazing, necessary, one of the leading people of this generation. I'm, you know, I support the guy tremendously. I'm not hateful. I'm not jealous. Like, I really don't get like that. I, I, I'm very happy for him. I'm happy for myself. I'm having a great time. I just like to have fun. To be honest, it's like a McGregor Mayweather sort of thing. You know, talk trash, playing basketball with your friends. But also, I think people need to realize before I even get into why I would win the debate, you know, we'll talk about that in a second. People need to understand, this is what the guy does, uh, Ben Shapiro. He's a debater. You know, he's famous for debating. That's why people know him. So for me to challenge someone like that to debate before I even get into why and whatnot, it's not like a huge thing like, oh my God, Anomaly is dividing. I thought you were supposed to unite everybody. I mean, that's what Ben Shapiro does. He's known for debating people that's one of the very you know many reasons that he's successful but that's one of the main ones so calling the debating guy out in the debate it's not like a big oh we're dividing that's what it's about it's about having conversations it's about having a debate and to the you know I'm just acknowledging all the, the negativity I got first before I even get into you know the good vibes and stuff but you know th that's kind of the vibe people are saying oh well he's you know he'll crush you this stuff blah, blah, blah. okay you know it's all love. I just want to have a discussion. I want to have a debate. It's healthy. You know, no matter what happens, if I make Ben look really foolish, which I doubt neither one of us would make each other look very foolish per se, uh, you know, it'd be a lot of agreeing because me and Ben Shapiro were very common sense, very fact driven. So we wouldn't be disagreeing on that much stuff. You know, it wouldn't be like a huge thing. But I just want to further the culture, okay? Don't get salty at me. I'm having fun. You know, I'll throw some jabs here or there, but I'm trying to up the culture. I don't want to watch Ben Shapiro debank Sank Uger or some other person who's like socialism and, you know, talking all this stuff. I, I mean, that's cool. It's good for what it is. You know, God bless. It's, it's great. But I want to see a better conversation. And to be honest, as a it's kind of like a Bernie Sanders supporter. Like I liked Bernie Sanders. But then when I realized how phony he was and he kept lying and lying and lying and lying, I'm not just going to sit there and say, oh, this guy's so great. You know, I'm not hating on somebody. I'm not trying to be negative. I have no sort of like complex, like, oh, I got to be better than them. Like, trust me, I want to be on a beach. I don't need the attention. I don't want the attention. It's just too late at this point. I'm, I'm all the way in. So here we are. Uh, but it's like with Bernie Sanders. When he starts lying about the Russia stuff, I don't just be like, oh, I love Bernie Sanders. He'll crush anyone. He's the best. I see Ben Shapiro time after time after time after time lie about the Russia investigation and lie about President Trump. And in my opinion, in my perspective, and you know, I'm open to everyone's, 
It's one of the biggest things. It's one of the biggest media narratives of the entire year. They're trying to impeach the president of the United States. They're possibly colluding, you know, to, to not even uh, allow him in office. They're, they're doing all this stuff. They're spying. So the Russia investigation and everything related to that, it's a huge deal for Ben Shapiro, for B, for the United States, for President Trump. It's a big, big deal that people should talk about and people should debate about. And Ben Shapiro, while I find him very intellectually honest and fact-driven with a lot of things, he has a lot of feelings about President Trump. We all do. I mean, that's what the whole resistance is based off, is their feelings for Trump. 20,000 people out in the street, but they don't know why they're in the street because they have feelings. I get we have feelings. I have feelings. I have fun. People get mad when I have fun. I also have feelings. But Ben's feelings about President Trump just don't match up with the facts. I'm sorry they don't. I've seen them lie time and time and time again. And yes, I've seen them counter lie and debate and this and that. But I find his Russia investigation analysis very, 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 very weak and very, 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 very feelings driven. It's a lot of feelings. I've seen him lie. He's like either Trump is trying to act like he's not guilty or he's just really dumb. Like there's no other explanation. It's like Sorry, Ben, for someone so intellectual, that's a lie because President Trump is not stupid when it comes to Russian investigation and he's not guilty. You know, we'll find out when it's all said and done. But another explanation for it, Ben, I don't know how you've not acknowledged it, is the fact that the entire mainstream media, the social media technocracy, the celebrity elite class, they've been colluding for a year and a half, pushing this fabricated narrative so most normal human beings would be like, get out of here already. You know what I'm saying? Get out of my face. Stop lying about it. I mean, that's what the president's doing. But Ben doesn't like Trump so much uh, that he just makes up all this Russia stuff. And he sounds just like the Democrats. He sounds just like the rhinos, the John McCain's and Mitt Romney's. And I'm just not impressed. I'm sorry. I wish I could act like I was so no one would get mad at me because trust me, I don't even like to question people most of the time like I don't I don't like to challenge people per se like you know I have I don't like I'm not a low energy crap journalist where I'm like yes I'm better than them I'm gonna destroy their lives like that you know that's not the type of person I am I, I take no pride in doing it but if you're a basketball player and I don't think you're playing that good at basketball I'm gonna challenge you one-on-one -on -one. if you're a debater if literally what you do is a debate, you know, that's what you do. You're the big debater, you're the undefeated debater, which is fine, then I'm ready to have a debate because I'm just not impressed. And a lot of other things we're gonna overlap on, you know? And, and other things we're gonna overlap on a lot of things and it's not even gonna be that big, but I find his Russian narrative, which is one of the biggest deals in the United States right now, it's not a, it's not a small deal. It's not like him talking about transgenders, you know what he's famous for. He's like, oh, well, they're not even women. And everyone's like, yes, he's the smartest guy. It's like, that's cool. But the transgender issue is not as big of a deal as the Russia investigation. And I just don't find what he's saying very honest. I see people in the, um, you know, I see people in the comment section getting all upset and that's fine, you know? You could love him, you could love me. I, I want you to really like both people. I always tell people, research everyone else. Ben Shapiro is one of my favorite people. I'm not a hater. I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm better than him or anything. That's just what he does. He's a debater. That's like what he's famous for. And I think I could beat him in the debate. I'm sorry. If you don't think I can, let's find out. And the people saying, oh, Anomaly, Ben's so much bigger than you. Like, you got to wait five years. Like, okay, I, I understand that he's definitely has a bigger following and he's, you know, way more well known. Guess what? If the debate doesn't happen... I don't care. I don't have that much invested in it. It's not like, oh no, now Ben won't debate me. My whole life's ruined. I'm busy. I have a lot of things to do and I'm, you know, happy on the progress I'm on. I don't have this super big head where I'm like, I got to be the most famous in the world. That's not why I do it. I don't, I don't care about that. Like you can make up all these other narratives, but the truth is I don't care. I don't want the attention. I don't need the attention. I never wanted the attention. I'm just sick and tired of the BS. I'm sorry. That's just where I'm at in life. And I see a lot coming from his direction, so why not debate the debater? That's his job. It's not like I'm making this stuff up and he's like an accountant and I'm challenging him to like a football game. I mean, that's his life. He's like the guy who goes and argues with people. So if I see somebody time and time and time and time again being intellectually dishonest in my thought 
uh, why not debate him? And like I said, if, if it doesn't happen, who cares? Like, it's not a big deal. People are making a huge deal. Oh, I'm going to unfollow you because you think you could beat Ben in a debate. And I don't think you can. It's like, oh, that's great. Why don't we do it? And then we'll find out what the truth is or not. You know, if he makes me look foolish in a situation, oh, well, you know, that's my fault for taking that opportunity and whatnot. But I'm not afraid. I'm not really scared. And I'm not feeling the people I get it like people are like you got to wait five years you got it that's what they used to tell me that's what they they called me today someone called me trying to hire me to like some advertising agency and she said uh you know it's gonna be 70,000 a year 60,000 a year blah 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 and I was like that's cool uh but they got to be flexible with my life because I'm busy I have things to do and if they want to work with me then we need to make it flexible we need to make it work for both sides my side and their side and then they say on the phone to me they say Oh, well, that's not how it works. I'm like, well, that's how it, that is how it works because I'm not going to do it if it doesn't work that way. So everyone tries to put me in their little box, you know, with jobs and stuff. It doesn't work that way. It's like, well, oh, you got to wait five years to talk to Ben. No, that's, that's not how it works. If it happens, that's fine. But I don't subscribe to these like go to nine to five and you got to work and we won't work with you. Like I, I get that's how people think it, it works, but I done what people have told me I couldn't do my whole life. They're like, you can't do that. You have to sit in this desk for 50 years and you're not allowed to be a journalist. You can't make a YouTube channel. You can't beat all the major news publications with your cell phone. You can't do the work of 10,000 people with just your phone and your laptop. I've heard all the stories. People have told me my whole life what I couldn't do. And I, I've always done it because I believed in myself and, you know, Keep the ego low, keep the spirit high, keep the good energy high, and, and you know, just pray, pray to the good Lord all the time. And that's that's the recipe, you know, it's not out of hate, it's not out of ego, it's not out of jealousy. I just don't think he's that honest when it comes to a lot of things. Is he leagues above, uh, you know, other people? Absolutely. Just like I say with President Trump, he won because the bar was set so low and he's crushing it. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate the president of the United States like like Ben Shapiro does. Like Ben Shapiro's like, President Trump's so dumb and I'm smarter and everything he does is dumb. I get it, but those are feelings. And facts don't care about your feelings. That's that's what it is. Is he you know, is he bigger than me as far as following and is he way more well known? Absolutely. Is there a chance that he might not want to debate and that's fine? Totally. Who cares? But if we can set it up, if we can get a Floyd Mayweather versus McGregor, you know, Anomaly versus Ben Shapiro, do I think Ben Shapiro for the first time in his life is going to be outmatched? I do think that. That's what I think. You don't have to think that. I understand why you wouldn't think that. Ben is a very intelligent guy. I mean, he's a he's a smart guy. He's fact-driven. He's analytical. He knows the ins and outs of politics. I was just watching him. I was blown away. I mean, the guy understands the judicial system. He's a, he's a genius. I mean, Ben Shapiro is one of the smartest news analysts of all time. But this is not me trying to measure myself like, look, I'm cooler than Ben. That's not what it is. I'm just saying, I see him out there lying. I didn't ask him to lie. I wish he would tell the truth more, but I just see it. And I don't know, you know, I'm not impressed. I'm just not Am I impressed overall? Absolutely. Like I, I just said, he's one of the best. He's a genius, this and that. But he sounds like the Democrats and the rhinos. I feel like I hear like, I'm like, is that Mitt Romney? Oh, no, that is that Nancy Pelosi? Oh, no, that's a that's Ben Shapiro? What? Like, he that's what he thinks? That's just how I feel. So, you know, it's all love. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But please just don't take it the wrong way. I'm having fun with it. Uh, you know, this is how I get when I do certain things. I play basketball with my friends or, you know, you joke around with your friends and whatnot. You have fun. You talk a little trash. It's what it is, you know, and I'm trying to drive the culture forward on my Kanye West stuff, except I'm trying to make a little more sense and not be as disrespectful or, you know, get too big headed about anything. But I'm trying to drive the culture forward. It's going to be things like this. We are the culture. OK, Ben Shapiro is a rock star. Ben Shapiro is the new Wiz Khalifa, okay? Jordan Peterson is the new Jay-Z. Um, you know, Dave Rubin is like, I don't know, outcast if he had a partner. What I'm trying to say is we are the new rock stars. So we shouldn't just sit here, you know, and act like it's not true. I mean, Jordan's crushing it. Ben's crushing it. I'm crushing it. You know, got a lot of great friends crushing it. Let's go.
let's let's set the matches up. Let's not just sit in our corners. And I know they have debates, but that's just where I'm at. I don't like what I'm hearing. I don't dislike it. I'm not that upset about it. People keep asking, what was he lying about? Um, I've seen him multiple times. And like I said, I'm just trying to have a discussion and a debate. I, I'm not, it's not a big like, oh my God, I want to be right so bad. I don't care. I just want to see the culture elevated. I don't want to see people, you know, lied to. So I like to put what I got on the table and then put what someone else got has on the table and let the people decide. Uh, but the Russia investigation, that's what I've caught him lying about multiple times. The memo, McCabe, the FBI, the whole situation involving it. I've just seen him lying multiple times. And the main one I saw was when he was on Joe Rogan months ago. And I tuned in because I, I love Joe Rogan, as people know. Uh, thank you for everybody who's been reaching out to Joe Rogan. I love Ben Shapiro. I think he's one of the, the coolest, funnest people to listen to. But he just gets on there and he lies about the Russia investigation. When, uh, when Trump fired Comey, he was like, there's only one of two reasons he could have done that. Either he's guilty and he's really hiding something, and you're like, what, dude? And then he's like, or he's just really stupid. It's like, he's not stupid, or he's hiding. Like, why are those the only two options? What about he's sick and tired of the BS like everyone else is, even progressives. Like, when it comes to the Russia investigation, I have more respect for the intellectual integrity of left-leaning progressives like Jimmy Dore and H.A. Goodman uh, and other people who tell the truth about the Russia investigation and they're left-leaning progressives. Do they want socialism when it comes to a lot of policies? They do, and I don't agree with that. But that's what I liked about that movement is they're telling the truth about the Russia investigation. Even Glenn Greenwald, Glenn Greenwald, a liberal, he tells more truth than Ben Shapiro. When it comes to the Russia investigation and when it comes to Trump, I see a lot of feelings from Ben Shapiro. That's just where I'm at, you know, and, and it, it's fun because it's like, it's not like I'm being mean, like that's what he does. He, he debates about politics. That's what I do. I talk about politics. It's not a huge deal. It's what, it's what we do. It's, it's, it's his living. That's why you know about him. That's why you're defending him and why people support me. And, you know, I'm not telling you to pick and choose. It's not a, it's not a choose. It's just like a let's let it happen. Let it unfurl. But for the people that are asking what he's lying about or what I've seen him lie about, that's what I've seen him lie about forever. The, the, the Russia investigation. He sounds just like the Democrats. He sounds just like the rhinos. And I just don't, you know, I'm not feeling it. So it's like, I, I'm sure we would sit down. We'd have a lot of interesting discussion, but I'm not like a, not like a left leaning whatever where I'm going to be like, oh, we got to you know, chop everyone's dicks off and we got to be equal. And, you know, it's like, I'm, that's not, it's not going to be a conversation like that. We're not going to disagree heavily on, on stuff like that. We're just going to have a combo back and forth. But when it comes to the Russia investigation, I just don't know why someone that intelligent, why they're being so dishonest about it. Is it because he doesn't like the president? Really? Like he thinks he's so much better than the president. Maybe he knows people personally. I know he worked for Breitbart uh, and, and Steve Bannon. You know, he knew Steve Bannon. So, like, maybe, you know, maybe he has personal feelings. Maybe he knows more. Maybe he knows so much that he's just the smartest person in the world. And, you know, he, he knows, knows everything and he's right and the Democrats are right and the rhinos are right and Ben Shapiro's right. Could be the case, but let's let it play out. That's all I'm saying. I understand I'm the underdog. I understand... This is out of character, uncharacteristic. I understand that Ben doesn't have to do it. And, you know, that's completely fine. I understand that he has so much going for him. And people are like, Anomaly, how dare you even question him? You should just wait 20 years until everything's over. And then maybe then you'll have a chance. It's like, no, I'm going to say what I want to say now. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But like this whole like, get back in your place, Anomaly. Listen to Ben Shapiro. He's so smart. Even though he lies about the Russia thing to my face and I'm not going to even talk about it, you shouldn't even question it, Anomaly. Just get in your place and listen to Ben Shapiro sound like the Democrats. That's just, I mean, I think that's fair. So once again, much love. Uh, you know, I just wanted to answer everything fluidly so it didn't get taken out of context. Multiple things said here. One and two. 
the, the trash talking and stuff, we're having fun, we're elevating the culture, we're doing, it's like rap battlers and people who box, you know what I'm saying? They talk, they go back and forth, they have fun, and then they have to put their game to the test. That's, you know, we can have a little fun with this stuff. It's not a divisive thing, it's not a hateful thing, it's not a, a you know, terrible thing or whatever. People keep saying, you're a centrist and Ben is a conservative. I'm just reading in the comments. This has nothing. Ben is not a conservative. When it comes to the Russia investigation, he sounds like a Democrat. He sounds like a rhino, a Republican in name only. He sounds like the media. He sounds like the news that everyone dislikes so much, that lies to everybody. So I, I, he's, he is definitely a real conservative. I'm not a conservative per se, but it's not, it's not about that. Like people... For some reason with him, everything goes out the window and it's like he's perfect and no one's perfect. That's why even with me, I don't tell you to agree with me. I'm not like, I'm the best. I'm, I tell you, go listen to other sources. Go read The Daily Wire. Go, I, I post The Daily Wire. Go listen to Ben Shapiro. I love Ben Shapiro. I love everyone. You know, it's not, it's not a hateful thing. Like, but it's just strange to me that people really don't want me to take this debate. Like, they, they're just like, no, you can't do it. Ben's right. <laughs> don't even question it. It's like he, he's not. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not. It's not true. Um, and I, I think it would be nice to really open up the dialogue with someone who isn't so weak. And people who who've debated Ben, I haven't seen anyone. Sank was okay, but even at the Sank Ben Shapiro debate, I'm watching that debate. To be honest, as much as I'm enjoying it, I'm thinking, man, these guys are okay. That's just how I feel. It's not like a hateful thing. It's not a prideful thing. Just honestly, I'm just watching this debate and I'm saying, I'm not that impressed. Like, is it great? Absolutely. Is it elevating the culture? Absolutely. Do I think these people are these untouchable entities that are just spewing out, you know, unquestionable truths that like I can't handle? Absolutely not. I, I saw a lot of holes in the debates. I saw a lot of weaknesses and I'm ready to take it to that level um and you know if it doesn't happen right now then i'll get a billion views if i have to and then do all this stuff i don't want to have to do that i don't have this big agenda i don't want to be that big i want to be successful make enough money to have a good time support my family relax but i, I don't have this big, i gotta be the biggest i don't want to do that i am just sick of the bs i'm sick of the lies and i'm ready to put my analysis, my work, my, my soul, my mind, my body, my spirit to the test. And on that note, I'm willing to play any news analyst one-on-one. -on -one. If anyone from the Young Turks wants to play me in basketball and film it live, 1v1 in basketball, I'm ready. That's all, that's all I'm saying. If, if Anderson Cooper or Don Lemon or, you know, Joy Reid or, I don't know, Chris Hayes, if anybody wants to play me one-on-one -on -one in basketball... I'm ready to play. You know, I'm not hating on them as a per person or anything. I'm just saying, I'm ready. I got good game. I rebound. I hustle. Got a, a decent shot. A good layup. You know, I could dunk if, if the time's right. So it's like, I'm just ready. That's all I'm saying. I'm ready to play any news analyst in basketball. Putting that out there. If any news analyst, you know, wants to take me up on that. And when it comes to debates, I've already said I'm ready. I'll go on CNN, Fox, MSNBC. I don't care. You know, they have people on all the time that haven't done one fiftieth of what I've done. And I'm not saying that to like brag or anything. I'm just saying business wise, management wise, it's not out of the realm. The people that are trying to silence me, they're like, oh, you can't do it. And I'm leaving. They have people on Fox all the time that haven't done one ten thousandth of what I've done. Once again, not, I'm just saying I'm ready. I'm ready to go on Fox. I'm ready to go on CNN. I'm ready to go on MSNBC. We're not going to have a country at this rate if everyone keeps lying to everyone. We're not, we're not going to, there's no 10 years. There's no time to wait. Present moment is right now. And I'm ready to debate Ben Shapiro. That's what it is. You don't have to think that I'm right. You don't, it's fine. But don't try to stop me from doing it. Don't try to silence me like a Hillary Clinton drone or like a mainstream media person. Like, you're wrong and you can't make it happen. You got to wait 20 years. Don't bring those vibes to me. Just set up the debate. If you think Ben is, you know, going to crush me and destroy me and all these things that people are saying, that's great. I, you know, I hope you think that, but don't stop me from getting this debate rolling. Don't try to, you know, stop that from happening. Let's do it. Let's set it up because either way, it's a win, 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 win for everybody.
uh, and especially if we really get it popping, we can elevate the whole culture even further than Politicon, even further than what Jordan Peterson's doing. And we're going to do it anyway. It's already happening. I'm bringing those good energy vibes to everybody, not to knock anybody, but everyone needs to rise. We're the new, we're the new movement. You know, what, what Politicon did and what Jordan Peterson's doing and what Ben Shapiro's doing, we have to do that because that's what it's about. We need to, we are the new media. We are the new entertainment. Um, and it's healthy for people. I mean, entertainment has stooped so low. Celebrity culture has stooped so low. Uh, you know, the news has stooped so low. It's the time now. The revolution is here. Uh, and that's where I'm at. So that's why I made this video. There's a lot of misconstruing of like what I meant, how I meant it, this and that and this and that and that. So hopefully this video explained everything. It's not out of malice or hate or jealousy. It's really not. You know, you could think all these things and that's fine. I don't really care. I'm not that, you know, emotional about it. But, you know, I think he's excellent. I think he's intelligent, but that's what he does. I have fun. You know, I talk trash, uh, but I also do mean it. I'm not, I'm not trying to bait him to like get famous and get followers. I don't care about that. I just literally really think that I could, you know, fill in some holes and, and have a conversation that would really benefit everybody and i think it's not that far out of the realm so much 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 love thank you so much i think it would be one of the coolest debates because i don't even think people are ready for my angle like people don't even know what i'm gonna do like some people think i'm high all the time and i'm just smoking weed on my couch some people think i'm really smart some people think i'm really dumb you know who you don't know what i'm gonna do I don't even know what I'm going to do yet, but I, I could come from a million different angles. I could come with the super analytical way. I could chill back and just, you know, hit them like uh, Lao, Lao Tzu in the Tao Te Ching. Like, there's so many ways to approach this debate. We'll revolutionize the whole industry just by launching this debate. Like, it's going to change the whole game. So, you know, don't get upset. Don't get mad. Don't think that I think all these things. I, I love and support Ben Shapiro uh, and a lot of people, but this is the culture. These are the vibes, and it's okay to debate. It's okay to call people out because I'm, I am trying to bait people. I am trying to Mayweather bait people because I'm ready, man. Everyone's talking their stuff, and it, we, our platform is big enough now. We have some real leverage, guys. It's not like everyone's out of the realm. Like, oh, you can't do what they're doing. We reached over a billion people last year. There's only 7 billion people on the planet. Do the math. There's not that much more we can do. Like I could do a bunch of stuff. I'm starting a news network, not, not to be the biggest, but to get the truth out there. But I mean, 100 million views, a billion people reached, you know, 250 million views between my two channels. It's pretty enormous. Like there's not that many people on the planet doing more than that. So we don't have to wait 30 years. Um, you know, people are like, you know, sit back down anomaly and go to the back of the bus. Can't Rosa Parks me. We, we done came too far. We don't work too hard and we're going to keep working hard and we're going to keep having discussion and we're going to bring the debate culture to where rap battling was in the nineties in an eight mile. Um, and that's, that's just the energy and the vibe. So I hope this was a little more comprehensive you know i'm sure some people will unfollow and get salty or whatever but i don't really care it's like when i talk about jay-z or kaepernick people yell at me but i don't not even that i fully agree with what they're doing i'm just saying with a lot of things i just don't care that much i, I only have so much energy to expend uh thank you guys so much for listening i'm not even going to drop my links or anything you guys know them. i will say legendary.vision that's my website legendary.vision so it's got all my social links and anything but this is not a promo. This is not a normal broadcast, uh, which is cool, but I'm just explaining why I want to debate Ben Shapiro. Someone said, Ben is like a Democrat. He rattles. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he does sound like a Democrat to me. It's just how I feel in, in certain situations. So I won't even get into it too much more. This is uh, better than the, the post and everyone yelling in the comment section. So hopefully this, this cleared it up. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Debate Culture 2018, Ben Shapiro, what do you think, man? It's, t it's time. You deserve a challenge. L'Oreal, like the old L'Oreal commercials, you're worth it. And facts don't care about your feelings. Thank you, guys.